When we launched the Origin trial and developer preview last February, it was in English only. We now support 21 different locales, but more importantly, we've built a generalizable framework around localization in AMP so that AMP Story's uh, system-provided user interfaces can be translated into any language easily. The framework not only includes the ability to add these new translations, but also includes the ability to flip the user interface for right-to-left languages like Arabic. Next, we wanted to provide a richer, more customizable experience for desktop displays. And so earlier this year, we launched a feature that allows publishers to bring the full bleed nature of stories on mobile to desktop as well. And it also brings this feeling of immersion that you have on stories in, on mobile to desktop. Another piece of feedback that we've heard from publishers is that they want to have more control over navigation to other places from the story. So uh, on a traditional site, right, you would have a navigational menu and they would like to bring that to stories as well. And so we've done just that by enabling support for AMP Sidebar, which works much like it does on a regular AMP website. This lets you provide navigational affordances and treat your story more like a part of your site. Maybe you have a video that's very long and you're not convinced that all of your users would like to watch the whole video. This is where attachments come into play. To open an attachment, a user can simply swipe up from the bottom of a page containing an attachment and they'll get this sort of scrollable pane. As a publisher, you control the content of the attachment and can embed any content that you like. But not all interactive content should be hidden away in an attachment. Sometimes you want to showcase the content directly as part of your story. This is why we're adding embeds to stories. When a user clicks on an interactive embed, they'll be shown a tooltip that allows them to bring the component into full focus. This allows the user to interact with the content fully without breaking the navigational flow. Make Stories is a WYSIWYG editor that allows you to create a story by dragging and dropping. It comes with a library of templates, GIFs, icons, and illustrations, and you can add your own videos and images as well. And so check out makestories.io for more details. Next is Unfold, a story creation tool that launched at the beginning of last year and already has 17 million downloads. They offer easy story creation directly from your Android or iOS device with a number of beautiful templates and themes. Newsroom Studio is a powerful story creation platform specifically engineered for publishers looking to embed tappable formats into their editorial and commercial workflows. The platform includes a turnkey monetization solution, recommendations engine, and provides unrestricted access to the entire Getty Images library. Jump Rope is a platform to discover and share how to do anything in stories. Tick Done is a platform aimed at teaching a million people a billion new skills. And lastly, we on the AMP team have been working to get Stories support added in CMSs, starting with building support for Stories into the WordPress AMP plugin. In order to make a search experience more visual and more interactive, we're working on a dedicated placement for AMP Stories on Search for queries in specific categories. Let's imagine ourselves searching for things to do in Tokyo. Here we have the search result page. You start scrolling and exploring the content, and then you find this beautiful blog serving you cool travel visual stories. Tapping on any of this cover will brought you right into the story, and now you can start enjoying reading the story by simply just tap through the pages. If you want to browse something else, you can just simply swipe to the next. We also know that the story format works really well with all other types of content categories. AMP for email can make your emails more interactive with components like AMP Carousel, AMP Accordion, and AMP State that let you build clickable interfaces inside your messages. Using AMP List and AMP Bind, you can keep your email messages up to date so that users are always seeing fresh content, fresh information, and accurate information when they open the message. And as you might have heard, a few weeks ago, we announced that AMP for email is now available in Gmail. So email senders can include this dynamic, up-to-date content powered by AMP in their messages today. We'll start with commenting in Google Docs as one example. Instead of receiving comment notifications that go stale and that require you to open up a new tab, now with the new AMP emails from Google Docs, when someone mentions you in a comment, you'll see an up-to-date thread in Gmail where you can easily reply or resolve the comment right from the message. AMP for email is here. Uh, but many of you are wondering, how do I get started with it? How, do, how can I send an email that contains AMP? Good news, that's why I'm here. 
Like every good AMP development, uh, we're going to start with going to AMP.dev, specifically playground.amp.dev. This is the familiar AMP playground, and the first thing that we are going to do here is change the format to AMP for email in the top left corner. G.co slash dev slash AMP email details how you can get started testing, as well as details how you can register with Gmail to actually send your emails at scale when you're ready to do that. AMP has evolved. It's become so much more than the original accelerated mobile pages name. In fact, we're not just mobile and we're not just pages, so it doesn't really make sense to use that long, awkward face. That's why moving forward, we're just going to be known as the AMP project. No acronym, just the word that signifies great user experience across the web. The theme that AMP is now more than just pages is also transforming our super freshly launched project website, AMP.dev. Because you as a developer are probably not working on ads and emails at the same time. And so the new website is structured across the major themes, making it quicker to find what you're looking for.